Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Electric Vehicles. Now I'm here at MB Systems and Controls. Uh, they are offering a soiling monitoring system. I'm very curious to see uh, what kind of uh, services they are providing. So let's ask them about their products. Come with me. Now Mr. Vaibhav is with us to explain uh, about these things. Hello Vaibhav, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So may I know what's your designation? So hi, I am Vaibhav. I'm from MB Control and Systems Private Limited. Okay. I am the director for this company. So we are a 36 year old company and we have been uh, focusing on the renewable uh, energy sector for the last uh, 20 years or so. Oh, okay. So we have developed and designed a lot of uh, uh, new technologies and new sensors and new products that can uh, help to monitor a solar plant's efficiency okay. and it will help the ONM team to uh, regulate the solar plants and how to improve their efficiency and how to cut down costs while doing it. So, for example, this is uh, something we've developed uh, last year. Okay. Uh, we are the only manufacturers in okay. India who are doing such a system. What's its name? So, this is a soiling monitoring system. Okay. So, what happens is uh, in a solar plant, be it a, a rooftop based or a ground based utility scale solar plant, over time, there is a lot of dust accumulation on the panels. Yes. And uh, because of this dust accumulation, uh, there is uh, a generation loss being yes, faced. Yes, exactly. So, and over time, these this dust will keep on mounting up and the losses will keep on increasing. And because of how competitive the solar market has become, it is uh, very important to know when to clean the panels. And uh, in a very big 100 megawatt, 50 megawatt, or even larger plants, it is not possible to clean the panels daily or even weekly. So they need to have certain cleaning schedules. Oh. So what the system will do is it will tell you the exact percentage loss okay. you're facing due to uh, soiling or due to dust accumulation. Right, okay. So uh, with that piece of information, you can uh, the plant ONM team can uh, find out there and uh, calculate the cleaning cycles. Yes. And uh, with the help of this, this will come very easy and you'll get very precise information. Right, okay. And uh, we have different models available. We can offer uh, such a system with an automatic cleaning solution as well. So you are developing a prototype or this is, is product current, available? This, is pro this product is available. We have developed it uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our own R&D team in Kolkata okay. and where we have spent over a year in developing and doing research and manufacturing everything. So as of last year, we have uh, supplied around uh, 20 to 25 such stations and uh, our clients include uh, Ampler Solar, Ultratech Cement, uh, uh, Jackson, uh, Azure Power and right now we're even supplying to Tata Power Solar. Okay. Can an individual customer own this setup? Yes, so usually the solar plant is set up by a government client. Usually that's the end client. Yes. And then, you know, there are various subcontractors for yes. it. So at the end, it goes to the government, but then it, it goes through a lot of levels. But it is most useful for the ONM team. Right. So they can calculate so what their... what is the warranty for this setup? Uh, the standard warranty is for two years, mm -hmm. but each component has a separate warranty. For example, if you look at the panel, the panel manufacturers nowadays offer 25 to 30 year warranty. Right. And similarly, this whole structure, we can offer customized warranty as per the requirement. Oh, okay. So if you want a warranty for 10 years, we can offer so that. So what will well. be the uh, price of uh, this setup? So a basic setup is very cost effective. This will come for around uh, between uh, 2.2 to 2.5 lakhs okay. and then depending on the model because there are various model sizes, uh, on, uh, panel model sizes and various uh, cleaning technologies available. So it can, the prices can go up and down depending on the, it's a complete customized solution depending on the clients. And uh, what are the kind of other products that you are offering? So we are offering a whole range of uh, weather stations okay. and weather sensors. So we have, uh, over here we have a uh, solar irradiation sensor. Okay. This has uh, been designed uh, especially for rooftop solar plants okay. where they can get the solar irradiation, they can get the air temperature 
and they can get the panel temperature as well. There's an inbuilt panel temperature sensor here. And there are various models. So we have an external uh, temperature sensor here. Over here, we've got an external PV module temperature sensor. Okay. And over here, we've got just the PV module temperature sensors. Then we've got uh, options for uh, air temperature and humidity and uh, barometric pressure sensors. Okay, so you are into all these businesses? Yes, right? so we are, we have designed, completely designed all of this uh, okay. in-house and we're manufacturing each and every part of it. Right, okay. May I know what is it look, uh, look like interesting? So, so this is a typical weather monitoring station arrangement okay so over here we've got uh, our air temperature humidity pressure and air density sensor it is encased in a radiation shield okay it's just so the sensor is protected from the sun radiation and from uh, rainfall and from dust accumulation also so this radiation shield has anti-static properties so it will repel the dust okay so if you notice over there the solar panel was covered in dust yes but there's no dust on this it will it's actually dust resistant it will repel the dust right. so is it more important and useful for uh, farmers right it is uh, very critical for solar plant applications okay. they need to monitor what the ambient air temperature is mm -hmm. because each and every part of a, for example the solar modules or the inverters right. their efficiency depends on the surrounding temperature okay. so it is important to monitor each and every aspect of this then we have a rain gauge over here this will tell you what the rainfall has been mm -hmm. uh, then we have the wind speed and direction sensor here and over here we have a solar irradiation sensor right. like the model that i showed you over there just just a mounting arrangement like for do it. we have any kind of uh, connectivity like app connectivity so that we can monitor uh, yes so all of this is connected to a data logging facility okay. so this is a, a data logger mm -hmm. and uh, this will in this is interface to all of these sensors and you can connect multiple more sensors and you can connect uh, your solar plant equipment to it uh, it collects all the data it stores all the data and mm -hmm. it can provide data to multiple third-party applications or we can uh, send the data to the cloud also using this uh, using a cellular modem or you can give it like a broadband connection also so this can data can go directly to the cloud and where it can be viewed and downloaded right okay so uh, like uh, who is your uh, target customer for this target customers for this are uh, solar plant developers and uh, Companies who are doing uh, EPCs, EPCs, that's engineering, procurement, and construction activities for uh, solar plants. For but this is not uh, completely dependent on a solar plant. This is used for other re uh, research applications also. This is used for uh, wind resource assessment uh, uh, also. And also rain assessment. And also rain assessment and uh, used for many research projects. Like we have supplied this to many. Uh, research institutes and also for agricultural use. So, what's, uh, may I know what are your future plans? Future plan includes uh, developing more and more solutions, uh, indigenization of uh, products that are currently being imported from uh, somewhere in Europe or other parts of the world. So, our plan is to become manufacturers for each and every item. Oh. Of each and every weather sensor that you're seeing here or might see somewhere in the elsewhere in the exhibition so we want to become a manufacturer for it and make sure that you know everything is developed in india and not imported from right. outside so thank you thank you very much sir thank for you. your thank you. valuable information thank you so that's all about for now guys if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also share this video to your friends and family members for more such videos please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever we upload the video. Go green. Go electric.